This lesson will cover the following topics. The lubrication system. The lubrication system maintenance check. The oil vapor rebreathing system. Let's look at the lubrication circuit now. The lubrication system has to perform the following functions. Allow the circulation of oil under pressure in the engine to lubricate the different moving components. Filter the oil for impurities. Cool down the oil to keep it at an ideal temperature. The lubrication system has the following components. An oil pan. An oil pump. An oil cooler. An oil filter and an oil pressure sensor. The engine oil lubricates and limits the friction between the engine's mechanical components. The oil needs to have the following properties according to the specific standards. Evacuates metal particles in suspension. Prevents deposits forming. Will not turn to mousse. The lubrication system operates as soon as the engine is started. The oil pump pumps the oil to the oil pan. The oil is then sent back to a filter. Finally, the oil is channeled to all of the points on the circuit requiring lubrication before then going back to the oil pan. The oil pan contains the lubrication oil for the engine. The oil pump pumps the oil to the oil pan. The oil pan has a cap with a special gasket for oil changes. The oil pan gasket on the cap must be replaced after each oil change. You should consult the technical documentation to find out the part number for the oil pan gasket. The oil pump circulates the oil under pressure. The oil pump is made up of the following components. A strainer submerged in the oil pan that pumps the oil. A gear wheel for oil circulation and pressurization. And a release valve to limit the oil pressure. There are different types of oil pumps. An external mixed flow pump. Or internal mixed flow pump. Let's look at the oil filter and oil cooler now. The function of the oil filter is to retain the metal particles that result from normal engine wear. The oil filter has a valve that lets the oil pass when there is an obstruction in the filter. The oil cooler is at the base of the oil filter. The function of the oil cooler is to dissipate the heat that the oil has accumulated. This heat is dissipated by the coolant. In this section, we covered the following points. The lubrication filter circuit cools and circulates the oil under pressure. The lubrication system is composed of an oil pan an oil pump, an oil cooler, an oil filter, and an oil pressure sensor. The engine oil lubricates and limits the friction between the engine's mechanical components. The oil pump pumps the oil from the oil pan through a filter in the circuit. The function of the oil pump is to maintain enough pressure to circulate the oil in the lubrication system. The oil filter retains the metal particles caused by engine wear. The oil cooler dissipates the heat that the oil has accumulated. Checking the oil level is the first check that should be carried out on an engine. The dipstick shows the driver that oil is required. Some vehicles also have an electrical dipstick. The oil level check is done after a prolonged engine stop so that the oil flows freely into the sump. 
The engine oil is very important to vehicle operation. The oil is loaded with metal particles and deposits and thus loses its original properties. The engine oil needs to be replaced on an ongoing basis. You should refer to the technical documentation and to the maintenance service booklet for the vehicle to find out about replacement frequency. The oil change is generally performed with the engine warm, depending on the severity and the flow rate. Be careful not to burn yourself when opening the oil cap. Never carelessly throw away the collected used oil as it is bad for the environment. The engine oil is classed by grades, depending on its viscosity. The viscosity represents the flow resistance. The higher the viscosity grade, the harder the flow. Here are the two grades. The first, followed by the letter W, is for oil viscosity when cold. The second is for the viscosity when warm. You should refer to the technical documentation for the vehicle to find out which oil type to use based on the engine type. A pressure sensor on the lubricating oil system tells the driver when there is a pressure fault. Then a check is required for the special tools. The pressure depends on the engine speed. The check is done with the engine warm, in idle mode and at a high engine speed. You should consult the technical documentation to find out about the checking procedures. In this section we covered the following points. The oil level check is performed after a prolonged engine stop so that the oil flows freely into the oil pan. The oil change is generally performed with the engine warm depending on the severity and the flow rate. The engine oil is classed by grades depending on its viscosity. The pressure depends on the engine speed. The check is done with the engine warm at idling speed and at a high engine speed. During cylinder compression, gases pass through into the oil pan. These gases are mixed with the oil blended by the crankshaft. The oil vapour created increases the pressure in the oil pan and escapes into the atmosphere. The anti-pollution standards in place order that these oil-filled gases are recycled. This is the function of the oil vapour rebreathing system. The oil vapour rebreathing system carries out the following functions. Aspirates the oil vapours that come from the oil pan. Condenses the vapours in the separator. Channels the oil into the oil pan. Directs the residual vapours into the inlet manifold and burns them in the cylinders. There are different types of oil vapour rebreathing systems. To quote two systems, a system with a separator filter on the cylinder head cover, a system with a separator filter and a regulation valve, essentially for turbocharged engines. In any case, you should refer to the technical documentation to find the special notes for each system. Let's look at the operation of an oil vapour rebreathing system with a separator filter on the cylinder head cover. When the throttle is closed, the vapours are pumped in small quantities via the calibrated opening downstream from the throttle. When the throttle is open, the vapours are pumped in large quantities via the calibrated opening upstream from the throttle. The oil vapour rebreathing system has to have the following checks. Cleanliness and condition of pipes. Cleanliness and condition of separator filter. Operation of the pressure regulation valve. For example, a fault in the circuit can cause idling instability. In any case, always read the technical documentation. In this section, we covered the following points. 
the anti-pollution standards in place order that these oil-filled gases are recycled. The oil vapor rebreathing device pumps the oil vapors and burns them in the cylinders. There are different types of oil vapor rebreathing systems. Depending on the position of the gas throttle, the oil vapors are aspirated to a greater or lesser degree. A fault in the circuit can cause idling instability.